I'm Katrina Myers, and I'm a professional engineer. I have an amazing job. I work in Denver, Colorado at the headquarters office of Engineers Without Borders USA. My job is to help people who help people. Our volunteer workforce of nearly 16,000 strong donate their enthusiasm, their time, their skills, and frequently their money to help others. The teams partner with communities around the world that lack basic services. Every day, I feel honored to work with these people. Together, we work on planning and executing engineering projects that have a tremendous impact on individuals, families, and communities throughout the world. My job is to ensure that our organization's projects are sustainable and of high quality. I am responsible for providing guidance and technical assistance. I review project reports, talk with project teams, and provide training for volunteers. Every project is different. EWB USA has over 600 projects in 43 countries, of which 80% focus on water supply. We work in widely varying physical, social, and cultural environments. But what all of these projects have in common is they are community-driven, meeting basic needs through simple, appropriate engineering solutions. Growing up, I spent time with my mom's family. Her four siblings and my grandfather are all engineers. I remember how energized they would get over bottle rockets, 3D puzzles, and elaborate sandcastles. I think they orchestrated kids' activities for their own entertainment. They would feverishly solve even the silliest problems. They instilled in me the joy and fun of learning and a love of applied knowledge. To me and to them, being a science nerd has always been cool. By the time I went to University of North Florida, there was no question I wanted to become an engineer. As a younger classman, I had the opportunity to work on a service learning project in Ghana, West Africa. The month I spent there opened my eyes to the fact that for so many people, water is not available at the turn of a faucet, and sanitation is not as simple as flushing the toilet. We visited a children's home, and I vividly remember the kids with sores on their faces, many suffering from malaria. When I returned to Ghana two years later with a few engineering courses under my belt, I quickly connected these issues to engineering solutions. We began focusing on engineering projects. Over the next several years, building a water supply system, gray water drainage, and propane stoves at the home. In 2013, when the project was completed, the children's health was visibly improved. Several of the young children I met on my first trip eventually died of preventable diseases. And our hope is that in the future, because of the projects we've worked on, no more kids will suffer the same fate. Water is life, as one of our Ghanaian contacts told us. Seeing the need for water and the importance that water plays in people's lives, from small villages in rural Africa to huge cities in the U.S., I decided to pursue a career in water resources. After graduation, I continued to mentor students in the Ghana Project, and this spurred the formation of a local student and professional chapter of EWB USA. As a mentor, I worked with teams of engineering students I loved being a part of these engineers' education, prompting them through the engineering process and encouraging them to discover the true impact that projects can have on people, learning hands-on skills beyond the classroom. During the day, I worked as a water resources engineer at a Florida-based consulting firm, Taylor Engineering, and completed my master's degree in water resources at University of Florida. I spent much of my free time working as an EWB USA volunteer, working on projects in Guatemala and Honduras. Earlier this year, I landed my dream job. I joined the staff here in Denver, Colorado as a project engineer with EWB USA. I'm excited to be an engineer. It's a fascinating, rewarding, and important field, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. 